Enrique is well known in the digital industry for many years. Um, he uh, was, uh, before starting at uh, Yahoo in 2012, he was vice president of Google and uh, responsible for, I have to read it, Worldwide Partner Business Solution Group. And previous to that, he was um, vice president for the, all the Google media, mobile, and platform business globally. And um, so I would like to ask um, Enrique in his new position, so what is, what is your perspective? You heard the discussion um, about digital, digital marketing, what comes next. And I'm, I'm sure that um, you have, as an old McKinsey guy, analyzed um, the digital world before you started your new job. So what is your perspective? Well, um, I think, good morning everyone, first of all, is beautiful, thank you for sending the snow down and make it Munich so beautiful, very romantic. Um, well, I think, that, um, if you look at what the journey of the web, and you said earlier, the web is just 15 years old, it's pretty um, short for an industry. If you look at the last 15 years, Web 1.0 was a great revolution on the cable side, so the, the pipes were fantastic, and what, there was no content. So what people did, they took the magazine and the newspaper content, they put it on the web, accessible digitally. And that was great, it was a container, great experience as a container. Was, we even called it page view, because that's the only thing we knew from the newspaper, so we called the same thing on the web. That was good, but the web did not have enough content, so we, the container was fantastic. As the web starts creating more and more content, uh, content, the container starts getting very, very stressed. Um, and if you are um, uh, living in Germany, but you want to know about Italian football, you could not have access because your container is the age of the portal, and the portal does not show you any content that you really would like to see outside the typical media. So what happens, the search engine comes. 2001, 2002, until 2004, the search engine comes and disaggregates completely the container. The container gets segregated and you start building your own experience. You search and you go for the subject you do. Great depth, very bad experience, because every day you have to go and search for everything you want, which is not what you want. So it's a very prompted um, way to consume media, but it's not a very uh, good experience from a personal level. So that, con that great, the con the, 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 in that time, we see more content produced in three years on the web that we saw from all hum uh, humankind live. And then what you see is that um, social comes, and social plus the search make the web more relevant to you. So you have the, rel the, the search to make everything you want, and you have the web to tell you, your friends to share with you. So that's where we are today, but I think that experience is still at the beginning. So um, if, you, uh, if, you, um, if you think about future, and that's what we are uh, addressing, so what is, uh, what is your uh, perspective from a publisher like Yahoo? What is the next big thing you have to solve, and, and what, is, what is the positioning, if you can ask right now, uh, for Yahoo in the future? And I'm not going to talk about Yahoo, uh, first because I have been there for eight weeks, so that's, um, but I think if you look at the future of the web, it's going to be completely different from what it is today. Um, the search experience has been fantastic, but if you go to the future, what you're going to see is the rival, the proliferation of three types of content, premium content, aggregated content, and UGC content. The user is not going to uh, separate those clearly in their mind. You're also going to see text, image, and video uh, live in the same platforms. It's not going to be, my mind doesn't spend, think about video only, or about text only, or about image. My mind is a continuum of information going. So if you think about this, probably this is going to all converge. The second thing you're going to see is that you're going to see a much broader personalization. Uh, if you think about who you are, what you look for, who your friends are, 
uh, what the community says, what generally is trending, you're going to personalize. So we, we start from the container, the container gets disaggregated from the search, and now you're going to have a new container that is the container U. And the container U is all the information I want. So we may be based in the same city, we may have similar profiles, but my web is going to be different from your web. And that, one, and that container is going to aggregate premium, UGC, and aggregated content, is going to aggregate text, image, and video, and is going to come to you on a flow of information. And, and in the U container, uh, what, is, what is the position for classical, let's say, portals, uh, like news portals, like uh, special interest portals? Uh, how, what, is that just a Facebook and, and, and Twitter job to do, or is that, is that a job for classical portals, um, the U container? No, I think the portal is going to evolve because I think the, the, the verticalized experience may be relevant from some, but we could argue that a lot of the aggregators, the, if you look at Facebook and, you, and um, Twitter, they are mostly UGC platforms. So there's very few publishers that have been able to scale professional content on the web. So if you think about that, the winners are going to be probably the ones that are going to be able to aggregate the premium content, very high quality, the, the, the aggregated content and the UGC at scale. Um, they, that will enable them to reach a massive audiences on a personalized way. So that's a technology game. Secondly, you're probably going to see uh, advertising much more personalized, what we call um, native advertising. So if you th scroll through what you saw on, on the Google um, promoted searches, or you can see on YouTube on promoted video or promoted tweet, you're going to start seeing a flow of the content coming, and that flow of the content is going to have ads relevant, very relevant to the user to avoid invasion. Because it's not, the invasion is not only bad for the media, it's also some advertisers are start telling us that the whole uh, model of invasing, invading you with a lot of uh, ads is not a good experience if you don't want to see those ads. So the semi brands are seeing a rejection because of the overly hammering the consumer. And um, Enrique, um, I, I addressed that um, that Zenit was forecasting the 100 billion dollar market uh, online advertising, and that um, just TV is in front of um, digital. So, <clears throat> what is what is your um, um, strategy? Uh, to uh, to to uh, win against TV in the future. What what what? Not from Yahoo perspective, but from let's say a digital expert perspective. What will be um, the the clue or the key um, to to um, to uh, get market shares from TV? I don't think it's a question of market share for TV. So if you think about the the TV market, the TV the digital market. I'm sorry, it stays between two big markets: the branding market or TV in general, TV, newspapers, the magazines, and the direct response market. All those markets over time are going to be more digital. Um, what I th today the digital market is around 70 billion, give or take. So 100 billion is pretty much achievable. I think what we start seeing it, if you go today, the experience on the t TV is pretty bad. You go, if you think about, you go to your car, someone drove your car, you got into the car, the, the seat adjusts immediately to you because it knows who you are and adjusts. You go to TV, you see the same show every Thursday and you switch the TV on and still have to, you still have to navigate. So there's no personalization on the TV, it's the zapper going around from channel five to channel seven to channel eight based on what you want to watch. That is a really bad experience. The TV should personalize that. You already say, these are the things you have saw last week. Do you want to see them? So Amazon recommendations, search engine recommendations, all those things could be today done on different platforms. So if you think about that, the user, these are going to converge, and you can see that the, the, the site itself are going to be an, this aggregation that's going to be, uh, offer better experience than the TV zapping. And if that happens, the content will follow. Because what we see today, and we see in different platforms like you see on YouTube, is that the premium content is coming more and more, because the content ends up going where the, the audience is. 
So that's that's going to be is I think the digital market is going to the hundred billion is is almost guaranteed. I'm not sure if it's going to come directly from TV, but apart from TV, apart from um, newspaper, uh, and the other part from direct marketing. Additionally, I think you could think scratch our heads and think if um, the digital content is not going to be distributed over TV. As TV is going to come over IP, you could start thinking about that you may be on your television and you, one of the channels is going to be uh, any um, digital provider. Could be a TV, could be a portal, could be an um, internet company. I think those, those, that content is going to be available on TV as well. So my last question before we open um, the questions to the audience is, um, I don't know whether you can answer it. Uh, in 2015, um, if we see um, um, Amazon as an advertising player, Facebook as an advertising player, Google as an advertising player, <clears throat> and you as Yahoo, what will be um, the rest of the business, let's call it rest of the business, in 2015 beside uh, the four players or five players? Well, I'm not sure if it's about this or not. What we see here is that you see the composed the value chain and you have users advertising, you have uh, media distribution, you have uh, commerce. And the question is who, what, who, what the players do best. So Amazon does commerce very well. Is advertising for Amazon is going to be a really a good uh, play? And he, what is the content Amazon is going to have for advertising? It's just a commerce, so it's going to become a commerce site with ads. That's okay, but that's not content distribution. That's a different business. It's not the media in itself, it's just a con um, e commerce. So the question we have to think about is where, what you do best and then how you capture value. If you are very good on advertising and your advertising is really valuable, do you really need to go into the, the, the other segment of the value chain to capture the value? Or you actually don't because you do it that so well that the, provide, the supplier ends paying you very well for the value of the, the, that you pass to them. So your answer, it's a definition of markets. So yeah. if, you, if we're talking about brand advertising, uh, you see a totally different market if, than if you talk about performance marketing. And if we talk about uh, content, uh, Amazon is for you, for you another content for advertising, another content player than, for example, Yahoo or publishers. And so um, I think uh, that's, that's a good answer to, to the question. So are there any more questions to, um, to Enrique? Beside the Yahoo questions, which he um, can't answer today. No. Uh, I've, I've, I've got a question. <laughs> I'm over here. Sorry. Um, um, uh, talking about the, the TV thing earlier, that, that the hardware needs to adapt, kind of like choosing the channels for you. We've seen Google go into the hardware business a lot with phones and with TV. Do you expect more online companies going into hardware? Do you expect more hardware companies going into software and online? Because, I mean, we see a, a setback using our smartphones, using our TVs, and we see a lot of innovation online, so how, how do you see that changing? <coughs> Sorry, yeah. That's a great question. I think when you go to closed systems, you need to understand how, how can you be comprehensive on your closed system that you can survive, right? And the point is that if, even if you get a closed system and you, you have a grasp of the distribution, certain point the capability of distribute all content through that system may not be sufficient. So if you believe that, you may control the, the distribution, but if you don't believe that, at a certain point competitors are going to, to break the, the closed system. And we have seen that uh, over and over again. I think the question you, uh, you have underlying that is how content producers and media companies are going to distribute their content. Because what you see today is that uh, some companies have been there for 10 years and build big audiences. We have, uh, Yahoo has built 750 million, YouTube has been 800 million, uh, Facebook a billion. How new pr uh, the, the uh, content producers today get to scale? And if they don't get to scale to the technology of personalizing the content and distributing that content, they probably will have to distribute their content through other platforms. And that's no different than the TV, right? The, the, a lot of people that produce content for TV do not have scale, and what they do, 
they just basically use other people's platforms to distribute their content. So we have um, three more questions. Um, just the three. Sorry. People were a bit shy at the beginning, but. Um, yes, if you can't answer a Yahoo question, please give me a more general answer. Uh, what is the right strategy for a well, big desktop portal in the mobile market, to enter the mobile market? Well, I, I, let me see if I understood. What, why the desktop, uh, can you re repeat it? No, the question is from a general point of view, what is the right strategy for a well, desktop grown portal like Yahoo to enter the mobile market? That's a, I don't, um, I'm not sure if I know the answer for that, but the reality is that the de first the desktop portal needs to transform itself. Because if the, the, the way that the container destination is going to be very difficult because the, the personalization is not there, the technology is not there, so it's going to be very difficult. We saw a lot of por generalist portal starts losing traffic. So the first thing is how can you aggregate the content personalized for each of us? Once you do that and the content is really personalized and relevant and has my daily habits there, then you can, you can transfer that for different platforms. The content is going to be very easy to transfer. Because if I have my portal with my information and I go to my mobile and as my information, I feel pretty comfortable. So that's the, 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 the key point. It's not so much desktop versus mobile, it's re how, what is the future of the portal on the web. So we have only one more question, sorry, Patrick, please. Okay. Um, you were talking about three types of content, aggregated, premium, and user-generated. For the premium, uh, how do you think about the willingness of the customer, of the user, to pay for that, other than for, let's say, music? So I'm speaking about editorial content, for instance. How do you think this is going to change? That's a great question. I think, uh, first, uh, if you look at the, the entertainment industry, is around a $500 billion industry annually. A third of that is pay-per-view. Pay a, th a third of that is advertiser supported and a third of that is subscription. So it does not necessarily need to be paid by the user, can be paid by the advertiser. Depends on the industry is going to liberate the windows. What we see in some cases that the CPMs or the core cost per impression on uh, digital is becoming at the level of TV. And I think that we saw that, if you look at that, you saw the, the curve that happened in the cable industry in the US versus broadcasting. We start seeing exactly the same curve on digital versus the cable and the um, the broadcasting. So the question is, advertisers will pay and consumers over time will pay as they pay on iTunes. So the two are thinking going conversion. The user paid and advertiser support and going to converge. So <clears throat> we are running out of time. Sorry, there are so many questions right now, but uh, we have to finish the uh, short session of, of your perspective. Uh, I wish you all the best in your new role of, um, of Yahoo and which uh, that you bring back Yahoo to uh, the good position we have seen in the former years. It's still a strong player, and uh, we perhaps see you here next year to answer the Yahoo questions, please. Thanks a lot to Enrique.